So, all right, so here from this position, I have some uh, side side, I have one hand underneath his arms with it, one hand underneath his head. Uh, make sure that this knee can be extended, the one that's close to his head, but the other knee needs to be butted up against his hip in case he wants to uh, recover the guard. All right, so step number one, I hold his uh, shoulder nice and tight, and I switch my hips. Sometimes they get confused with the whole switching of the hips, and you have to review that. And I grab the opposite elbow and I switch my hips. So now I've switched my hips into what some people call kissing a tummy position, right? I'm gonna take my hand and I'm gonna reach over and grab his wrist. Now I'm gonna switch my hips back. And I'm like, oh, I gotta switch my hips and then switch my hips back. And then my left uh, shin is gonna go and pin his bicep. Now when people do this, they have their knee too close to their head. And so what you wanna do is flare your knee and be heavy from this position. This is called the kill position. So you review and you say, guys, this is the kill position. The reason it's called the kill position is because now I can elbow him in the face and he doesn't have this arm. As I got the kill position, I, now I'm gonna do the mouse trap. So step number one of the mousetrap is I grab his wrist, I pin it to the ground. My other hand is already where it belongs underneath his tricep and I grab my wrist. And this is called the key lock. And now he's vulnerable because he doesn't have his other hand. So one is the key lock. And then remember that you do a paintbrush. Well, oh, Connor's shoulders are stiff. You're like an old man like me, buddy. Yeah, I can't even put his hand on the ground and it's already hurting. So remember the paintbrush is I paint his hand to his hip and I lift his elbow. All right, that's number one, the key lock. Number two, he resists and extends his arm. As he extends his arm, shift your hips forward, but stay heavy. Now his thumb is up. Now get it just right on his elbow. This one's hard to teach, by the way, because you have to have a lot of experience on where your forearm is. And now you're gonna use your forehead as well. And what I wanna do here is push the uh, hand down as I massage my hand like I'm a cat paw on a pillow, and then that's number two. And then he's super strong and he goes to his hip, make him struggle, boom, I let go. I turn my first hand into a V. So I hug this nice and tight. If you have a gi, you can grab your own gi. So here's your first V. Then you take your other hand and you go through elbow to shoulder to do your second V. And that becomes a W. Once your first, your second V is in there, you can remove your first V and grab his wrist. Once you grab the wrist, you pin his arm to the ground and you put your elbow on the ground. And your hand's already there. It's the same thing as the key lock, but in reverse. And here's your Kimura. And how do you do the submission? You lift this elbow up as you shift your weight onto your right hip, and there's your second submission. So you've got one, two, three.